What is up guys, it is Dylan Lepore here, back to you with some sweet YouTube action, brought to you by BrutalGamer.com, for all your brutally honest reviews and video games, comics, etc. Alright guys, I am back here with a video. I haven't made a video in a while. I haven't made a video in like, posted to a video, a uh, video in like two months. And so I'm glad to be back here posting more videos. Today I have for you a review of Levels. It's a pre preview slash review, however you want to say that. I never really liked straightforward reviews because I haven't got the gist of taking my written work to my video work yet. So I'm working on that. Uh, you can find the full review in the description down below the full written view at brutalgamer.com. Make sure you check out their website. I really like them over there. They're pretty nice people. So what we have here is 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 levels per page. And I've gone through a, a significant amount-ish if you save for the average person. There's about 80 levels and available to you and uh, 20 more coming soon. So up here you notice that we have lives, the five, the five hearts up above, that is going to be important later. And if you hit over to the menus section you have tutorials, overview, this tells you basically how to play the game, align the platforms, simple. You got your pieces, your solid white pieces, Solid white pieces push the platforms down. Hollow white pieces. Hollow white pieces pull the platform up. Solid black pieces push the platform down and cannot be moved. And then you got hollow black pieces pull the platform up and cannot be moved. And then you got your cheat sheet. So this is basically where the math comes in. And so each piece equals a certain amount. So you might have, at one point you might have, say you have a triangle and a circle. To equal that, you would need a square and a circle. I think that's right, yeah. A square and a circle. And basically you'll see that uh, up ahead. But here's the platforms. Now we have six different types of platforms. Some can be two platforms at once you'll see that later this is a lock platform lock platforms don't move while chains you need a break to make them normal again magnets uh, you line them up and they stick together gears one goes up the other goes down basically is that keys when you line up the keys uh, it goes into the lock and it unlocks to make a normal block and then these connect when you push one down both goes down and now we're done basically with the tutorials of course they have achievements and you get rate them and you get to clear all your data if you really hate yourself <laughs> oh that's the menu now let's just dive in to the very first thing level one so one level boom simple and then you can right here you can go back to the menu you can also restart and you can share if you really to share <laughs> you beat level one good job congratulations and basically this is where the adding comes in you put two circles down and you have the triangle and this is you need a, a square equals a triangle and a circle. One of my gripes is that it doesn't have any music uh, because that makes me... music is something important to me and it really brings you back to the game when you like hum in the song in your head you're like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it just brings you back to the game which is important for me. Now we went a little bit ahead to the levels and we're just going to try out some harder 
puzzles because those ones you guys can easily solve that but let's try solving 28 put that over there put that over there put that there Ooh. and what are we missing boom and you use the lock platform as like a way to like trash goes on the lock platform unless there's a key in the level which you can unlock it with and now we have chains so basically what we have to do is weigh this down and it takes about three points basically you can say points to break the chain two triangles equals one at two circle one triangle equals two circles and then you have the one circle which is one point and then let's try to solve this boom all right this one we can see has two magnets which means that you need to level them so they can be together and now it's one platform as you see that so one of my favorite features in this game is that when you pick up a shape and drop it back down you look at the moves counter at the bottom left of the screen and nothing ever moves which is something that I really like about games uh, that do this because what if you accidentally pick up the piece and you didn't want to move it you can just take it back because lots of games charge you with it and you have to restart the entire level that's a really good point they added which I really do like but when you get to some of the harder levels and you can't figure out how to do anything you need to basically you can't now it tells you to buy five more moves you can either buy five more moves or you can give up and waste a life five moves cost 99 cents and when you lose all your lives it costs 99 cents so let's give up so we lost a life sad face ah darn so let's try again missed 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 oh darn no no I'm no and I lost alright so we lost all our lives now what we have to do we can't it won't allow us to play or restart the match so we go over here and it tells us we have 18 minutes left to play the game I'm like what we have 18 minutes left to play the game what is this and so it doesn't it tells me if I want to buy more lives and I can put buy more lives or hit no thanks and so I'm obviously going to hit no thanks because I really don't want to buy any lives but what really sucks about this game is that I have to wait one hour for me to get my lives back or I have to pay for it 99 cents doesn't sound like a lot but it's still money you're paying them for this game which really sucks it's a really fun game but I can't play it because it wants me to buy stuff and that's really hurting the game and so with that said level a simple puzzle game is a really quick game meant to be played in short bursts. It's challenging, brutal, and addictive, but with no way to easily get lives or moves back, and with no music to support its crafting gameplay, I don't see myself coming back to this game that often. It's good to challenge the player, but waiting 20 minutes to continue that challenge is not something that I feel is complementing with the game's fast mechanics. And with that said, I would give the game a 68 out of 100. Alright guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. In doing so, my videos come straight to you. Please follow me on Twitter for any updates about this channel or my streaming schedule. I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 11. And make sure you like and share and comment if you, have, if you like the video. If you don't like the video, I want to hear all your comments. With that said, see you guys later and have a great day.